we have studied explicit cursors and cursor attributes. Let's understand how we can use these in PLSQL programs. Consider an employee's table. Let's write a PLSQL block to fetch only employee names and department names and display first five records using cursors. We begin by declaring two variables for cursor of employee name and department type. We then create a cursor named DMP cursor to hold employee names and department of employees table. The cursor is then opened in execution section. Using loop, we fetch the data of cursor into cursor variables. This is done for first five records of the table for which we use the cursor attributes row count and not found. We then print the employee name and department from the cursor. The cursor is closed at the end of the block. Let us now write a few more programs using cursors.